Hi guys. In this episode, we are going to be covering the final leg of chapter six, where it talks about staying right between the bar of stability and not either on the deficient end or on the excess end. And for this, the perfect analogy would be Aristotle's twelve virtues, through which we can see whether we are less in a particular character trait or whether we are in excess of a particular character trait. So here in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just read out the twelve virtues, and I'm going to tell you where exactly I stand, whether I am in the main and most parts or whether I am in deficiency or in the excess part. And after that, you could. Also, see in which part you stand, and exactly where you stand in all the twelve virtues. Before we get into the details of the verse, so here we go. So Aristotle's twelve virtues starts with courage. Where do you think you stand? Personally, for me, I think I would be right in the mean because I'm not. too much of a coward neither am i extremely courageous so i think i would be exactly right there in the mean so that's a good start second temperance moderation temperance is actually here in this context temperance is to know how to control a habit that you have i think i would be in excess category here because i don't have exact control over all my impulses so that's one for one so far then liberality spending i think i am much more of an excess spender than being right there in the mean so that's two for one not in my favor third one magnificence magnificence on this uh, on this particular virtue is about charisma and style at least some of my friends have told me i don't know about style but they've told me about the charisma factor that i do have a little bit so i think based on that i will say that i am right there on the mean neither less neither more so that's two to two so so far so good and magnanimity generous I don't want to like. Actually, I'm not that generous, so I think I'm more in the deficient angle over here when we come to talk about the magnanimous nature of a human being. Where, but I would also say that I am not a person who goes voluntarily to help someone, but I also don't disturb people while trying to help them. Where I know that I will really not be able to help them at all because that is really not my forte. Sixth one is ambition. This is a uh, Tricky. I, I, I don't know whether I am exactly ambitious or at times whether I am over ambitious. So I'll give the benefit of the doubt in the negative direction. I think I'll go with over ambitious. So that is I've got two in the mean and four in excess or deficiency. So the seventh one is patience. This is easy. I'm I'm actually really on the deficient aspect of it, where I am more impatient in a lot of things, where. a 21st century kid always wants everything at the palm of its hands very quickly so i think i am also one of those millennial kids that want everything pretty quickly eighth one friendliness yes i think definitely this would be in the mean i am totally not fully friendly but i think to call myself in the deficient or in the excess aspect would be too much of a stretch so i think this one would be mean solely because i don't fit in either of the other two categories so that's 3 out of 8 truthfulness well am i a man of integrity this is see actually i'll this for anybody who knows me they know this that i really don't lie but i have the habit of exaggerating certain details to make the story look much more better than what it really is so i would say that i am not wholly truthful but partially truthful mainly because i exaggerate and don't lie so i think even this would not be in the mean and i would be either deficient or excess so that's 3 to 9 that sums up basically where i stand right 10th one is witty yes i would like to believe that i am humorous and i'm right there in the mean where i don't disrupt another person's feelings neither am i too boring so yeah so that's 4 out of 10 modesty ego do i have an ego i think at times i do have an ego where i think that i am a little bit superior to someone and sometimes when i am in a different audience i feel that i am a little bit inferior to people so i think it is a mix of both and at times i am modest as well so it's really you know like jack of all and master of none kind of habit that i have in terms of modesty but 
due to the track record i will say that i do have an ego which in this case would be in the excess category and finally justice here justice means the right to indignation which says that if there is something that is wrong within your family or within the society you feel the right to stand up for it and talk about it i think that part yes i'm right there in the main because at times when the problems are around me i have spoken against it if it is for the right cause so that makes me five means out of the 12 virtues of aristotle so here we can see that the most important aspects here is patience that is the key thing that we many people tend to miss out on now the reason i bring out this aristotle's 12 virtues and say from my perspective is to just say that how and where a 20 year old stands in the 12 aristotle's virtues now you could try these 12 virtues at home to see where exactly you stand because here it is mentioned in a way that you don't need to do anything in excess or anything in less quantity but you have to be bang on right there in the mean and that is what the bhagavad gita says throughout where you should develop a mental stability before you perform any act or any task this would enable you to be completely free and here the bhagavad gita adds one more thing to what these 12 virtues add when you choose the mean it has to be satisfied with reason now for example if you are not a coward and if you are courageous it is not solely because other people are all courageous so i am also going to be courageous the reason that you are courageous and you have omitted cowardness should be satisfied within yourself and that is why the bhagavad gita says that you have to first enquire within yourself on who you really are and then satisfy yourself with sufficient reason so that you land right in the middle of every single virtue and not deviate from it one bit and here throughout these final 20 to 22 verses of chapter 6 the bhagavad gita gives a huge amount of emphasis on how everything has to be in moderation and that is why there is a verse which says that yoga is not possible for one who eats too much or one who sleeps too much or eats less or sleeps less and that is the same habit where it says that everything done to be done in a habit of moderation So that's the wrap for this particular episode and most importantly for chapter 6. I would see you guys in chapter 7 and as always thank you for watching and until the next episode it is goodbye.